me X Canadensis, and today I have this absolutely enormous box that was sent to me for review to review for you guys. I truly have no idea what's in this box. I have a couple of theories on what it could be, but I actually don't know because uh, I was offered several things as PR from several companies and there's been supply chain issues from China, as you guys know, so they're trying harder. They're prioritizing actually getting toys on the shelves rather than getting the PR out, which is totally understandable. Um, so I'm not really sure what this one is, but you guys are going to know before I do from the title and thumbnail. Um, let's see. Interesting. It's a big white box. Yeah, I truly have no idea what's in there. Um, I guess we'll start here. Oh my gosh! Okay, so this is Dream Ella. I finally get to introduce this to you guys. I have been having such a hard time keeping my mouth shut about Dream Ella because MGA so kindly offered to send me Dream Ella to show to you guys, but unfortunately it got delayed, but I'm really, really excited to show these to you regardless. I actually have a big plan for a video that I'm gonna use these for, so I guess we're just gonna get started. So they come in this PR kit in this super cute white gift box with this golden, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, I'm so excited. All right, so I got the ribbon off the box and let's see what I was sent, what's in the first box. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we have this little piece of paper and it says MGA's Dream Ella is the new fashion doll brand that lets you be whatever you dream. Whether it's in the land of magic or the real world, Dream Ella and her friends Yasmin and Aria make their dreams come to life. Like when they're magical fairies flying through the sky or as a doctor, baker, or vet. Play along with the new series on YouTube. All you need is a little imagination to be whoever and whatever you want to be. And it gives me some details on how much they cost. So in America, the car cruiser is going to be $14.99 and the I am a dolls, which I imagine are the chef, the vet, are going to be $8.99. In the first box, I have a color change surprise fairy, and I'm really interested in this because I've actually never done other color reveal type dolls, and I'm really curious to see how they are, and I've also been really excited about Dream Ella. I just haven't purchased them because I knew this was coming in the mail for me that I could show to you guys. Um, so I'm thinking this one might be Yasmin because this box has the I am a Dr. Yasmin doll, and you guys... If you haven't seen the series yet, please go watch it. It's so funny. And I'm not saying this because I got the dolls for free. They didn't mention the series at all. The series is hilarious and the characters are adorable. It's so fun. I'm a whole adult and I'm, I'm enjoying it. <laughs> um, and it says, meet Arya, Yasmin, and Ella. They're three best friends that can be anything they dream. Remember, these dolls, this one retails for $9 in America and that is a steal. And just looking at her now, I'm actually thoroughly impressed by the accessories, the outfit, the quality of the face paint, and I'm excited to actually get her out of the box and see her. But before we do that, I'm actually going to check out what's in the other boxes, which I imagine are our introductions. Oh, well, actually, oh, we're going to have to do another great doll race. It's snowing, but we'll make it work. Oh my gosh, we got the Dream Ella car. This is the Dream Ella car cruise. So this is the Dream Ella car cruiser. I love the art on these. This was the art that we all saw before we knew anything else about Dream Ella, or it was called Aria at the time. We were seeing this art and everyone was so excited. And this car is so cute. Look, it has a little bow on the top, like it's a gift. Oh, this is darling. And I've been seeing these in stores and they're flying off the shelves, so I know they're doing well. These are so cool. I'm so excited to review the car. Don't worry, we're gonna get it out, but first we need to see what's in the box. We got two more boxes to go. So here's another one, it says Dream Ella on the front, of course, and I just have to pop the ribbons off and see what we got. So let's see what character we're being introduced to now. Oh, there's... Okay, so we have another color change surprise doll, and this one's in a pink package. Oh, well, they're all in pink packages, I'm sorry. And this is one of the fairies, and then this is the Baker Aria doll. Oh my goodness, the art's so pretty. I'm really curious how these dolls feel in, in your hands, because I've heard good things, but I haven't gotten to feel them yet. Oh, and she's so pretty. Okay, and she's so funny in the show, oh my gosh. And look what was in this box, we got the unicorn! Oh wow, okay, so <laughs> this is, I assume this is meant to be Aria's unicorn. And it says fits all Dreamella dolls. And the hair is, oh my gosh, it's really soft nylon hair. And this unicorn is named Lilac. And it says Ella and her best friends ride their magical unicorns making dreams come true. Very cute. I love the, um, the little symbol on there. It's the Dreamella symbol. This is so cute. Oh my gosh. 
gosh. Okay, let's set her down and see what's in the last gift box. And I just want to remind you guys that these were sent to me for review by MGA so that I can tell you guys how they are. I am giving you my actual opinions on them, but it is important that you understand that these were sent to me. All right, and the last box, oh my goodness. Okay, so we actually got another unicorn in here, and we also have another little fact sheet. So the color change surprise fairies are $10 each, and the, uni the unicorns are only $13. That's so cheap, I'm sorry. Wow. I'm just really shocked because the hair is super soft. It uses that high quality tinsel that like, I know people don't like tinsel and doll hair, but if you've ever had a Monster High Cleo or Abby doll, they have that really nice tinsel that doesn't tend to have as much has many problems as other types of tinsel, like My Little Ponies have. Um, that's that type of tinsel. I'm actually really impressed. Um, and the castle, which I'm really interested in getting the castle, it retails for $100. And I've seen it, I saw it once at Target, and I have it in a toy hunt, and it's actually a reused Storytime Princess's castle which I never got, and I love Storytime Princesses too. All right, and the last box has, of course, Ella. So we have Ella and possibly Fairy Ella, I hope. And then here is Ella, and this is the veterinarian one. So Ella is the main character, and then the other two are the fairies that like bring her to the fairy world. Oh, and she comes with a dog. I did not know that. Oh my goodness. Okay, and then we have another unicorn. We have... This one's name is Ocean, and I imagine that this is meant to be Ella's unicorn, as it was in the box. And I feel like they all have their own, like, color scheme that goes to a certain unicorn. And she has the same symbol, her hair... Oh, look! Teal hair! I'm really excited to, like, get a feel for a doll horse, and have doll horses for my display, and photography and stuff. Alrighty, so... I got everything out of the box. I am so excited to get these dolls out and share them with you, so when we return, I'm gonna have some of the dolls out of the box so we can review them. I will see you then. I was so excited in going through everything that I did not notice this little card that was inside and this is a Dream Ella card. It was tucked into the car. You guys probably saw it already. Um, but it has a handwritten note inside. So it says, Hey Dream Team, thank you so much for celebrating the launch of MGA's newest brand, Dream Ella. Our mission is to inspire kids to be whoever and whatever they imagine. We hope you enjoy our beautiful new dolls. Please be sure to post all across your socials. Hashtag be whatever you dream at official Dreamella from MGA and the Dreamella team. I will definitely be doing that. I'm already, I don't even have these out of the box yet and I'm already thoroughly impressed by them. I have been eagerly awaiting getting this package so that I could share them with you guys and see them for myself because I'm honestly not that picky with dolls. If a doll has a cute design, good associated media, I am sold and these dolls are amazing and I'm so excited about it. So... All right, friends, so we are going to be unboxing all of these Dreamella products that were sent to me today. I did also get the Color Reveal Fairies, as you guys saw, but I'm going to be unboxing them in their own video because I have a really special plan for them, so I hope you guys are excited for that and stay tuned to see that in the next couple of days. But for today's video, I'm going to be unboxing all of these, so I'm going to get the first three things, which are going to be the I Am A Blank dolls out of the box so that I can show them to you. So I will see you then. doll that we're going to be looking at is Yasmin and she is the doctor and her accessory is this big stethoscope. It's very cute. It's its own mold. I believe I've never seen this before. It has a little heart on it. It's a nice piece and it is like a real life steth stethoscope so you kind of put it around her neck like that but it can be pulled off easily. Her hair I'm very fascinated by. I cannot tell what material this is but it is ridiculously soft and I love the texture it has, they've crimped it. And it's just beautiful. Look at that hair. And it's so long and soft and she's got a lot of it. I'm actually really impressed considering these dolls retail for $9. So cute. The faces are also very pretty. They are done via stamping, which is very, very common in the doll world. And thankfully this is not a printed face. Very, very pretty. I think it's well done. It even has blushing. And the outfit I'm actually really impressed by too, because again, this is such a lower priced doll, so you would expect the outfit to leave a lot to be desired, but honestly, it's pretty good. The construction on the top is the piece that I'm the most impressed by. 
it's really like a substantial nice piece it's made out of a shiny fabric to mimic you know a doctor's outfit it's very cute and her pants are they're soft and stretchy but they look like a gauze material they're very interesting and her shoes are actually really nice too i really like this mold they you have you guys know they do not come with stands this is a stand that i bought on amazon i will put the link in the description if you guys are interested her articulation is a swivel at the head she cannot look up and down maybe a little bit but i don't know if that's intentional she can move the arms outward and around so she has pretty good range of motion there and then her legs move she has pretty good movement in the legs but she doesn't have click knees but the legs are super heavy and still are made out of a rubberier material i really like that because it makes the doll not feel like an extremely cheap doll if that makes sense she doesn't feel like an a nine dollar doll at all she feels like a much higher priced doll so i'm actually really impressed and she can sit in a realistic position she reaches a full right angle so she can sit in chairs just fine and you don't have to worry about i don't know if you guys have experienced this but with some dolls they'll sit like this and that's it and then also when they sit they kind of straddle their legs which makes it very unrealistic to have them sit down um but she can fully sit like a normal person which i am a fan of She's really, really cute. This is a precious doll. I have a feeling that this is gonna, oops, sorry. I have a feeling that this is gonna be my favorite of the main Dreamella dolls. And I have to say that the first one you should get is definitely Yasmin for the sole reason that her hair is so unbelievably soft and pretty. Also leave this rubber band here because this stethoscope isn't wanting to stay on, which stethoscopes aren't supposed to stay super well around the neck, so it's totally fine. So soft and nice. I'm really impressed by the hair. Really impressed? I've never bought, well, the only dolls that I've ever bought at this price point were the Hair Amazing dolls by Extreme Play, and I actually really love those too, but these are destroying them. The outfits are way better quality, and the hair is a lot nicer. It's not polypropylene. This, I don't think this is polypropylene, and if it is, I don't mind because it's so soft and nice. I'm thinking the other two have nylon hair, but we're about to find out. So, Next, we're going to be looking Next at. All we're going to be looking at is Ella, who is the titular character of Dream Ella. She's also called Dream Ella in the show as her full name. Not really sure what that's about, but on the packaging for these, her name is Ella. So this is the veterinarian doll, and she is wearing scrubs. These have a much better material. I think the materials used on Yasmin are fair, like they make sense for what they are, but they definitely leave a little bit to be desired, like the see-through spots at the seams a little bit, and. The shininess is a little bit off-putting to me, but it's totally understandable for the price point and, of course, the the design they were going for. But with Ella, I feel like they picked a much more actually scrub-like material and very nice construction on this as well. I'm very impressed that they went above and beyond here, if that makes sense, because most dolls that I'm familiar with at this price point are just molded on clothing and little skirts and like maybe a one-piece dress like very little is actually going on but these have full outfits that are very impressive and for career dolls their outfits make a lot of sense and oh my gosh look there's actually a faux pocket here <laughs> wow i'm i'm really really impressed okay and then she has this little paw print printed on her scrubs here so ella's hair i can't decide i was hoping i would be able to tell i'm thinking it must be nylon but i'm not super familiar with this grade of nylon if it is i don't think it's saran and i i'm not thinking it's polypropylene it's very soft i like it a lot i do think that yasmin's hair is better it's much longer i think the color is a little bit more realistic and it's super super soft i really love the crimp texture they gave it it's very very pretty and she comes with a more elaborate hairstyle because she has that ponytail wrap but ella's super super cute too i actually really like the color they picked for her hair i just wish that her eyebrows matched it better because the eyebrows are much redder and this has more of like a green tone to it almost so it's a little bit confusing with the makeup or sorry with the eyebrows but it's totally fine her face is also very pretty she has this white eyeshadow. And then she has shoes as well, of course, and hers are these quilted sneakers. And I'm really impressed, actually, because these are a completely different mold than these. Because, okay, doctors wear some not very cute shoes. Like, sometimes they're even wearing Crocs. But I really appreciate that each of them has their own shoe design. Because they both very- or MGA very well could have gotten away with giving them both the same exact shoes. All right, so those are Yasmin and Ella. Aria now is now out of the box, but I totally forgot to show you guys Ella's accessories. So 
Yasmin came with this stethoscope. Aria comes with this frying pan. Ella, of course, also comes with an accessory, but hers is just a whole dog. So she can do her little veterinary exam on this little puppy that she comes with, and he is orange. It looks like he was meant to have paint around his eyes, possibly. If this is a reused mold, I'd be curious to see how the original looked. It's just a little dog, most likely a chihuahua. Cute, cute little piece. And it's really fun that she comes with a dog. And now we are going to be looking at Aria. So Aria is a chef, so she comes with a chef's hat. So she actually comes with more stuff than the others because she has a hat, she has her jacket, she has her pants, she has her frying pan, and she has her shoes. I will say though that the hat is great. I really like the hat. The shape of it is really well done. It looks really good on her and I also really love her hair. She, I, I, I'm pretty sure this is nylon hair. If you guys know better than me, please let me know if you have like felt these dolls hair and know what it is, but this really feels like nylon to me. Very nice soft hair. I'm very impressed by that. So cute. And Aria's face is also very pretty. I like that she has purple makeup on. They all have different makeup designs and all of their faces look different enough that they look like different people. Although they are stylized, so they look incredibly similar. And I can't tell, I'm usually really bad at this, but they kind of look like they have different face molds. I really don't know if they do or if they don't, but they kind of look like they might. It could just be the placement of the paint though. I will say that Aria has the most um, disappointing outfit to me. It's very well done. The construction on it is great, but I'm not a big fan of printed on accessories or like printed on details. And the collar looks to be printed on, but... Oh no, the collar actually isn't printed on, so props there, but the buttons are printed on. Okay, actually, now that I know that the collar isn't printed on, I have to take it back. It's pretty good. The buttons are printed on. I usually don't mind if buttons are printed on, but it's made out of a kind of canvassy material. But as a doll collector, I'm looking for more realistic feeling materials. But as a kid playing with dolls, I sincerely doubt you're going to be as picky as I'm going to be. And the outfit looks great on the doll. I think it looks fine. The pants are unfortunately also made out of that canvassy material, which again, I'm not the biggest fan. That's like the material that Barbie always uses that I really don't like. But Aria is actually the only doll so far to use it because this Ella has the like a knit scrub material and it's really nice. And then Yasmin has this shinier, I believe this is a cheaper version of satin. And then this material is also a knit. So Aria is the only one using the canvas material, so it's not too big of a deal. And her shoes are different from the other two as well, which they really didn't have to do because chefs, doctors, and vets all would wear the same comfortable, easily cleanable um, tennis shoes. So, but they still managed to give us all different shoes, so I really appreciate that. And this is what they look like. They are black. And then she comes with this little frying pan. And, you know, it's a frying pan. It's a nice piece. I like that it has the actual little molded handle on it. And then, of course, it has a little doll holding handle. And it fits her hand. It's kind of a confusing position, but, you know, it works. And she can make me some eggs. And I really like eggs. All right. Now I'm going to be opening up the car. Is the Dreamella car out of the package. And looks pretty good. I don't have a substantial amount of doll cars. I don't have a whole lot of experience with them, but in general, they all feel about the same, and this car feels about the same as a lot of other ones that I have, and it is way cheaper. The It's made out of a lighter material for sure, but it gets the job done. I really like the smoothness of its roll, and I'm very interested. When I got the Rainbow High car, I did a doll race video where I raced all of the different doll cars that I had, and I would be very curious to see how this one would fare because it actually has like a really smooth roll, but it doesn't have as much weight to it. So I think the weight might make it lose the doll race, but regardless, it would be interesting to see. It has a different plastic inside for the seat, so it has yellow seats and a black interior. It has seat belts, of course, and they are removable to make it easy to put the dolls in and out, which I love. And then and it has a rotating steering wheel, which it mentions on the packaging, so I thought I'd point it out. And yeah, that's the car. It's not this super elaborate piece or anything, but it is such a good price. And doll cars tend to be pretty expensive. The Rainbow High car, in comparison, is $50 and is about the same sort of shape, you know? It doesn't have opening doors. It does have the seat belts and the steering wheel and the moving wheels, but the biggest upgrade that the Rainbow High car has, but aside from the material that it's made out of, is that it lights up. And this car is a third of the price, so that's something to keep in mind. 
I think this is a really nice car. Love the little license plate too. And the bottom is fully molded and it has the Dream Ella symbol on a sticker there and a sticker there. So I think this is cute. I, I have really like one it. negative point about the car. It is impossible to get the dolls in while they have their shoes on because of the shape of the interior. There's a little divot here to make space for the wheel and that makes it where the shoes have, a, the feet have a very small space that they can slide into. And with these giant chunky shoes on, it is impossible. The dolls, I'll show you on Ella here, actually have tiptoe feet, but these shoes are flat footed shoes, of course, because they're their career shoes. And I think what happened was they molded this for the dolls without their shoes on or for the dolls with the high heeled shoes on, like the color reveal dolls, if I had to guess, so the fairy dolls. I think that's what's going on here. So unfortunately you do have to take the shoes off to get them in the car, but I don't think that's too big of a deal. I think it might be confusing for kids, but this car is really, really cute. And it does fit two dolls, but not their shoes. <laughs> The car is really nice, y'all. I don't know what to tell you. I think this is a really nice car and I think the price is fantastic. If you have a kid that you buy for in your life, this is a really, really cool piece. So the final verdict on this car is that I think it's really, really cool. I wish that they had considered the giant shoes because it makes more sense for these girls to be using this car to go to their careers as opposed to using it in the dream world. Although they do use the car in the fairy world to give MGA credit there, but you know, like, being able to fit their shoes in there would have been really handy. I think as a kid, I would have been really frustrated and confused by that, but there are more Dream Ella dolls coming out, so I have a feeling that the box art version of Ella, who is wearing this kind of casual outfit, I think that might actually be a doll, and that's the doll that the car is designed for, but they released the car early. That's my guess, but I don't know for sure because they didn't give me any information on the dolls that are coming out or anything. That's just a theory of mine. <laughs> Uh, I think this car is fantastic, though. If you are just looking for a car doll car, I think this is the absolute best you're going to get on the market right now, especially at this price point. The Rainbow High car is really cool, but it's more gimmicky than functional, if that makes sense. And the other cars that I don't have familiar with, like the Not Enough Surprise car, is going to be way too small for these size of dolls. Um, the LOL OMG car, I really like that car, but it's extremely stylized. So if you want a more realistic car, that's not going to work. And then Barbie, I don't know what to tell you. Like, I have some Barbie cars from when I was a kid and they're great, but modern Barbie cars that I found at thrift stores feel just like this and they definitely cost more. So I think this is great, especially if you're buying for a kid in your life. This is cool. This is a really, really cool piece. The next thing we're going to look at is going to be the two unicorns that I was sent. And I'm very excited to introduce them because I just haven't really ever had doll horses. I have one that was sent to me in my P.O. box. And then I have one that I got at a thrift store once. And that's it. So I've never really experienced 12-inch doll-sized horses. So I'm curious to see unicorn dolls. And of course, these will make much more sense thematically when I unbox the Color Change Surprise Fairy dolls. But for now, we're going to be looking at the unicorns as they were sent to me and they're not relevant to the next video that I'm going to be making with the color change fairies. I hope you understand. So we're, these are the unicorns. These unicorns retail for $12.99, which is a pretty good price. And there's three of them. I was sent two of them. So I have Lilac and Ocean. Lilac is Aria's unicorn and Ocean is Ella's unicorn. These have hollow bodies, but they're... I can't decide if they do have hollow bodies because they're actually quite heavy. And that makes me think they're partially filled, but they definitely are partially hollow as well. That's no big deal. I'm very used to that with doll horses that I've... Because, you know, I've seen them at thrift stores and stuff, and they tend to be pretty hollow. These unicorns I'm also very surprised by because the mold is very realistic to horses. Like, the shape of them and the, the proportions. I really like that. I think it looks great. And I love the symbol they have as well. It's painted on, and then it has glitter over top, and I think it's very well done. They also come with hairbrushes, which the dolls that I unboxed earlier did not come with hairbrushes. So you get some hairbrushes here and you can brush the beautiful unicorn hair. I really, really like the hair on these. I'm 99% confident that this is nylon. It's the same stuff that My Little Pony uses. Super, super soft and nice. And Lilac has a golden horn. They both do. And it's a glittered golden horn. It's a separate piece from the rest of the unicorn. So feels different. It looks different. It's very nice. And she has blue eyes. The design of the eyes is very nice. It has a black 
uh, eyeliner on the top, I guess, and then the underline is done in blue, and it's the same on Ocean as well. Ocean, I prefer her hair because it's teal. I love teal hair. Look how beautiful that looks. And the hooves on both horses are actually done in, like, this really pretty glittery glossy paint, which makes them have, like, the sheen of a real horse hoof while be still being, like, fun and fantasy-themed with the color. And there's a pretty good amount of hair on these unicorns' heads as well. I'm very impressed with them. I think they're absolutely adorable. Look at that hair. It's so shiny and pretty and soft. I'm really impressed. I'm starting to think that maybe the color change fairies will come with this hair. And if they do, I will be so excited and thoroughly impressed. For $12.99, these are nice big unicorns. Your dolls can ride them. Your dolls can like feed them and play with them or you could just have cool unicorns. I think these are great. I think these are definitely more of a younger demographic on these unicorns, which totally makes sense, and I think they're great for that. But even so, with the low price point and the younger demographic they're going for, these are very detailed and impressive. I'm noticing the gradient paint done here on the nose, which adds so much to the horse with such a subtle detail, and they have blushing, and the symbols are so nice. And the molds, again, I'm very impressed. Like, look at the musculature on this. It's a really, really nice horse. I really like these. And I'm definitely going to need to pick up Yasmin's horse when I can find her. These, again, like I said earlier, have been flying off the shelves in my area. So I'm going to have a hard time getting them. Or getting the other one. But when I, when I can get her, I definitely will be. Alright, so I'm going to set up everything that we've unboxed so far. So I can give you guys my final impression of Dreamella. So that was my initial review of the Dreamella dolls. I'm very excited about these. Ever since I heard that MGA was going to be tackling a lower price point and a lower demographic doll, I was very curious to see it. Because MGA has always been the, the like, it girl of the doll scene, you know what I mean? They've always been, like, the expensive, elusive, high detail, high quality, higher price point, higher, higher age demographic doll with Bratz and Rainbow High, LOL, OMG. They've always done that, but they've never tackled a fashion doll, to my knowledge. They've done a few, like the Storytime Princesses and the Moxie Girls sometimes had a lower demographic. And there were some one-off Bratz and Moxie lines that were definitely meant to be competitors with a lot of cheaper Barbies, but we've never seen an entire dedicated doll line like this on all store shelves where MGA is specifically tackling a lower demographic and a lower, um, sorry, a lower age demographic and a lower income bracket. And these are phenomenal. MGA is fantastic at maximizing the budget at the lowest price point, and they've been able to do that with dolls like Rainbow High, which, in my opinion, Rainbow High dolls could easily cost $50 because of how nice they are, but they don't. And MGA is always really good at that. So I was really, really excited to see what they would do with these and I'm blown away. The thing that has always kept me away from modern Barbie dolls, and this is not all of them and this isn't to diss Barbie specifically, but the thing that's always kept me away is that I just feel like they try their absolute hardest to have the cheapest possible doll. And I mean that in terms of the price that they pay and they sacrifice everything to get that low price point. They sacrifice design, they sacrifice actual materials, they sacrifice playability, and it's frustrating because a lot of dolls, a lot of designs that come out from Barbie, like the Dreamtopia dolls, I'm very impressed by. But then when the actual dolls hit the stores, I'm just out. They don't do it for me. And Mattel used to be really, really good at giving us fantastic dolls at low price points, but these days I haven't really been seeing as much of it. So to see MGA put the pressure on by releasing their own line, I'm very excited about it. And I've never actually done a color reveal doll before. I have one that was sent to me by one of you guys. So I'm very excited to see how that is and how that experience is and how nice those dolls are. I have of course seen the dolls in the web series that MGA has for Dreamella and I think they're very cute so I'm excited to meet them. I have a special DIY project that I'm going to be doing with them. So that's why they are being separated from this video. I think these are great. I think I've always said this, but I think it's extremely important to remember. I, I've gotten this comment before and I understand where it's coming from, where when I criticize a material that a doll is using or I criticize a doll feeling cheap, people are like, 
not every doll is for you not every doll is for adults or for collectors and i a hundred percent guarantee like or i a hundred percent agree with you not every doll is for me not every doll is for collectors kids don't notice this kind of stuff as much totally yes i agree but kids deserve nice things kids deserve to have a diverse well-rounded nicely designed nicely executed good quality doll line why is it that dolls in the 60s and the 70s and the 80s and the 90s and the early 2000s were all great quality they all had act like real materials used they all had the bare minimum in terms of the materials used on the bodies they all had full heads of hair why was it totally fine then but now it's totally fine to have a completely hollow doll that can't move any part of her body and is wearing like a paper bag for a dress kids do notice this kind of stuff kids do deserve to have nice things and i think it's very important that lower income people and lower income kids also deserve nice things now there's lots of amazing cheaper dolls and there's lots of amazing cheaper dolls that kids are loving and kids are really enjoying right now but what i'm saying is saying it's cheaper so whatever is not an excuse i hope this is coming off the way i'm trying to i'm not trying to diss mattel or diss barbie or say that mattel and barbie are all trash but i think there's a bit of an issue with the way that people discuss quality of things that are cheaper because these materials clearly can be used for cheaper dolls good designs can be used for cheaper dolls they always have all throughout doll history it has been extremely recently that we've started seeing them completely kill off using good materials and keeping good designs and giving them nice accessories and i don't think it has to do with anything other than corporate greed honestly because MGA is a smaller company than a lot of these other ones. It is one of the bigger doll companies right now. But they definitely have less connections than the toy giants like Mattel and Hasbro. So why is it that MGA can release these dolls that are at the same quality as a lot of Hasbro's $25 dolls for $8? They're like $8.99. Have very similar quality to $25 Hasbro dolls and some Barbie dolls that are that high of price. So what's going on here? You know what I mean? And I understand completely that you're not always paying for the actual materials used in the doll. I completely understand. Sometimes it's about the artistry. A lot of Hasbro's dolls specifically are based off of movies. They're not meant to be fashion dolls. They're meant to be movie dolls. So it's a little bit of a different thing. But still, I think it's really important to kind of consider these things. And I think MGA has done a fantastic job delivering a high quality product at a very low price point so that younger kids can also enjoy the quality and fun of dolls without having to pay the premium price. I think that's awesome. I think it's really cool. And I'm very excited to see where Dreamella goes. The recent episode of Dreamella, which actually came out today, seems to have new dolls featured and another car. So it's possible we're getting new releases or those are just not actually happening. I'm not sure, but pretty good odds that they're actually coming out. And they they look great i'm excited to see more i'm excited to see dreamella thrive and grow and i'm so sorry i couldn't get this video to get to you guys sooner i had to keep it a secret and i wanted to wait until these got here just in case because if they had only sent me a couple of dolls i would have got out, got out and bought the rest but i wanted to make sure when they got here i would get to do my full review and pr thing and yeah i've been very 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 excited about this i was offered this um opportunity to review these and share these with you guys and i was jumping around the house i was like yeah so excited um and i hope that this video has been um informative i hope that you enjoyed seeing the dream Ella dolls and even if they're not for you i hope you understand that they're if they're not for you they're not meant for you and that's okay that's okay they don't have to be for you for me I think they're adorable. I really like to collect all sorts of different types of dolls and I like to introduce all different types of dolls on my channel. So these will be very, very loved and very cherished in my doll collection. And that's it for this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. And I would love to hear what you think of the Dreamella dolls or anything else that I said in this video. And please keep an eye out on my channel for the fairy review because I'm very, very excited for that video. I'm very excited. Anyway, thanks so much for watching for all this time. Bye.